Hi, welcome to Oakwood Hamster. Today we'll be looking at this foot spa bath massager. I ordered this off Amazon. It was less than 50 bucks. Mother-in-law wants it. Here's the barcode if anyone wants to scan it. I'm gonna show a few pages from the manual. So it looks like this can work in either US, well, 110 volt or 220 volt. Some operating instructions on how to use it. So the temperature can reach 118 degrees Fahrenheit. Interesting. At the, I've seen pictures of our neighbors visiting the salons and when they get their, I don't know what it's called, nail on their feet. They have the salons, they have these type of massager things too. The unit itself is very lightweight. It's all plastic. Here's the power cord. It's tied up pretty well, give me a sec. The power cord is about six feet in length. Grounded. Some information printed on the bottom of this unit. There are four non-slip or non-skid pads. And here's the one of those, those callus remover things. So the rollers here, they don't automatically roll. It's more like a, like a self place my foot here and then just have my foot roll front and back, front and back. Now we have the temperature controls, on off temperature, vibration, and bubble. It's a good thing that they put a lip on the side of here, that way you can easily carry it to add water to it, drain water out. I'm going to have the in-laws give this a shot and I'll be back with their opinion. The water in a foot spa came from a tap. It's about 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me turn it on here. And raise the temperature to, what is it, 107. It's currently measuring the foot spa as 61 degrees. Let me show it the red light. Let's see, just some infrared. The bubble one is more interesting. The thing with a bubble is that it's not as strong as we had hoped. I'm sure the vibration. When the feet is in there, the feet, the skin on the feet is pretty thick. So with the vibration, with the bubbles, yes, I do feel something, but it's just not as strong as what I had hoped. It's not like going to one of the, uh, the foot masseuse. Realistically, we do not feel this with tap water. I did that just to show that this device can heat up the tap water to the desired temperature. The reason we don't do that is because it will take a very long time to go from 60 some odd degrees to 100, close to an hour. So we fill this up with warm water. Now the temperature in here is about, say, 103 degrees. Roughly 103 degrees Fahrenheit. Turn this on. It's measuring at 98 degrees. Let me swirl this around a little bit. Let's see if it still measures at. Okay, I switched the water around a little bit. Now it's at 102. Even though I won't be using the foot spa, my mother-in-law, she will be using it. She said that she likes the consistent warm temperature on her feet. The bubbles. She has it turned on, but 
even she said that the bubbles aren't that strong, even with the massager. For folks out there that like to soak their feet in nice, consistent, heated water, this is a good unit. I'll place the link below. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me.